there everyone. Welcome to Poor Painting with Ron. I hope you've all been well since the last time I saw you all. Anyway, I was browsing YouTube videos, as you do, and I came across somebody doing a variation of a Dutch pour that I would like to try today. Now, I'm going to be using um, this 45 by 45 centimeter square thick edge canvas. I really wanted to do it on a thin edge, but this is all I had left, so this will need to do. Now, I have pre-painted the sides of my canvas today first. I usually don't do that, but, but with this particular technique, there's a risk of paint not cover, totally covering the sides. So I've pre-painted my sides to, to solve that, that issue. Now, um, to do my Dutch pour today, I thought I would use a combination of Amsterdam paints and um, extreme sheen metallic paints to create my um, cells and lacing effects and I'm mixing them with flow troll today now <clears throat> I'm using the black oxide from Amsterdam and titanium white and um, turquoise blue this um, primary cyan and I'm also mixing this with a little bit of black to make a more navy color as well and then the extreme sheen colors I'm using today are the 24 karat gold the deep sapphire and just the ordinary sapphire now I mixed all of those one to one with um, flow troll and then I used water to make it the consistency that I wanted. Because for a, for a Dutch pour, you need a, a pretty thin consistency so you can blow it around with the, the blow dryer. So I don't know exactly how much I mixed up, but you can see on the right hand side um, all the details of what I did. So I won't go through it all, all now. Feel free to pause the video and write those measurements down if, if you think you need to. But um, I'll show you the consistency in a bit. You may have to add more water or less water to get the consistency right across all of the colours. Anyway, let's get started. Right now, here we are. As you can see, I've mixed up quite a lot of paint for this size canvas. I probably won't use it all, but I don't want to risk not having enough. And I can always save any leftover paints for another painting, so I'm not wasting anything today. All right, these are my normal Amsterdam colors at the top, and they're my three me metallics down here. Um, the consistency is, is pretty thin, so if I pour it off the spoon, I hardly get a mound at all, if at all. And if I twirl my spoon, the bump, oh, half a second maybe, the bump of paint at the top stays there about half a second. Oh, I've got a bug in here already. Get rid of the bug. Yes, I'm in my garage, so there's lots of bugs around. All right, so I've kept the consistency the same across all of the colors. You can see here my nice um, navy blue that I made using that... Um, that nice blue and a little bit of black. You don't need much black to change the color of your paint. A little bit goes a long way. All right, now I'll put these aside and I'll show you what I will be doing today. But if you've seen the thumbnail for the video, you have a pretty good idea anyway. So as I said, I saw it, someone else do this on YouTube and I thought, oh, I'd love to give that one a go, something a little bit a little bit different. Okay, now my center, hope you can see that, my center is going to be black. I've seen people use white, but you can use any color you like, really. So black in the center, and then I'll do rings of my other colors around the outside, finishing off with the color I painted my edges, this navy, navy blue. Um, and then I'll blow everything out using the blow dryer. Now the blow dryer I'm using is just this one I got from Kmart, Pro Dry 2300, I think I paid about $20 for it. It's got one of these little nozzle things at the end. Make sure the blow dryer that you've got has a cool button on it because you don't want to blow hot air 
over your canvas. All right. Oh, forgot to get my torch ready. I'll just get that ready. Now, people ask about torches on um, the various groups I belong to. You don't need a super duper fancy one. I just got this from the hardware store. You buy this attachment separately and then cans of butane gas. That's all, all you need. They're very inexpensive. You don't need a super duper fancy one. So you just screw the can on and then you're ready to go. Easy peasy. Okay, now black in the center first. I don't want to put too much on there. I can always add a bit more if I want to. Okay, here's my black. Now I thought I'd start off with a metallic, so I'll do this dark sapphire. Dark sapphire. Then, hmm, which colour will I do next? Choices, choices. Maybe a bit of white. I hope it works. And I might do this lighter blue. Um, well, what one will I do next? I should have thought about it first. Maybe a bit of gold. And then I'll do some of this navy. Um, then I'll do some of this other metallic, the lighter blue. Then I'll do some of this really light blue. And then I'll finish off with the navy. I'll just put some here in the corners. edges now, I think I have plenty of paint on there oh, this is a bit scary and then I'll blow it blow it out with my blow dryer so I've got a cool button so I'll, I'll hold the cool button then and I have it on the, the lowest speed uh, lowest Heat setting, and I'll use the lowest speed for now, just to see how we go. Okay. Ooh, pretty. I 
can only blow in one direction. So I'll just turn my canvas around. Looking nice. Ugh. Clean my gloves so I don't get it all over my blow dryer. It's looking rather lovely. to do any more because then I just get mud and I'm glad I painted the sides of my canvas because there are bits that were left uncovered and if it was left white it would look really unsightly but that's really beautiful now I'll just get my blowtorch gently heat up the paint to see if we can get any more cell action happening. That's really beautiful. I like how that turned out. Now I'll just go around the bottom edges to scrape off any excess drips. So drips, as I said before, they, they look unsightly. And they can also pour, pull paint off your canvas. heaps of paint left. So I've got enough to, to do another one. I may need to mix up some more of my navy. Now the extreme sheen paints, they create lots of interesting cells or pearls, you can call them. They're not really not really cells. You can see them happening around here and further through through the paint. Perhaps I could have used less of the blue in the middle because that seems to have spread out the most. But I do really, really like that.
Okay. Just seeing how much I blew off the side. Uh, pity, but such is life. All right. I'll bring you in for a closer look. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, just bringing you down. It's just lovely. The metallics just glisten. I mean, the colors look different in the camera than they, they do in real life. That blue is actually a lot lighter than it appears in the camera. So what did you think of that one? I think it turned out really, really nice. I was just just thinking how those colors would look as a Dutch pour, just a regular Dutch pour as well on a, on a black background. I think I'll try that next. If, if it works, you'll see it sometime. But anyway, uh, it's time for me to clean up. And I hope you've been inspired to give this technique a go yourself. Remember, the trick is consistency. If it's too thick, you can't blow the paint out across the canvas. So nice and thin, so it's easy to blow out with, um, with the blow dryer. And keep your blow dryer on a cool setting and a fairly low speed. And then, fingers crossed, you should be right. Uh, let me know how you go in the comments. I always read what you say in the comments and, and I always reply. But anyway, as usual, if you like what you see today, please um, press the like button. It helps my content get found on YouTube. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please take a moment to subscribe. So I hope you have a good week ahead and happy painting.